how incredibly awesome to be back on this scoring stage. This place is filled with such incredible history. So many of the great movie scores were recorded on this stage, Gone with the Wind, Wizard of Oz, all the great MGM musicals. And when I was a kid, I used to go to the movie theater around the corner from my dad's hotel where for nine cents you'd, you'd see a movie. I used to come back and I used to play scores that I was inspired to. I mean, I just started playing. No lessons, just started playing. And that was my early inspiration for music. I'm hired to do my first MGM movie in 1976. I did songs for Smokey Robinson, Thelma Houston. I did the score and then I was asked to do a recording of Judy Garland's The Boy Next Door for the movie. And they took Judy's voice from the 1942 optical. I was born in 1942, and here I am conducting Judy Garland in 1942. It was, it was quite amazing. And then I come here, and I'm hired to do Fame, score 48 shows because I was doing classical, pop, Motown, everything. And so I used to improvise. Uh, on the piano when we were doing solo piano things and uh, eventually I got into a habit because of the four-day writing schedule where I had to actually just look at the picture, improvise a cue against picture and then have it orchestrated so I'd have time to focus on the ballets and the dance sequences. Now there is another incredible story I have to share with you. In uh, the last season of Fame we did a recreation of The Wizard of Oz. Now, as part of that recreation, I was able to conduct a very inspiring new arrangement of Over the Rainbow, which closed the episode. And I remember standing here and conducting a magnificent orchestra, two perfect takes, at the end of which I turned to the booth and I said, you know, we really need one more take. And I think everybody understood why we needed one more take. I just had to hear that magnificent music on this magnificent stage one more time.